do you have a, a particular like favorite trading style? Is it more like trading breakouts or trends or reversals, or do you trade like many different things? Uh, I always tell people I'm a trading slut. I'll trade anything, anywhere, any time frame. I don't care. I, I trade every style, every instrument. I trade stocks, options, futures, forex. I day trade, swing trade, position trade. I don't really care. So how do you keep this all organized together, where you don't like forget things or or? I just use an Excel spreadsheet where I have I call it my trade tracker. It has all my orders, all my uh, trades on it, but one column is the technique. So I always know why I'm in the trade, okay? I also have a note column that says maybe I have a fundamental bias, maybe I don't have a fundamental bias. But there it is. And I know where I got where my entry order is, where my exit order is. I go through with my broker once a day to make sure that they coincide. Um, and that's it. Now day trading I don't really use the trade tracker for because I'll be out before the end of the day. Uh, I just use a, a piece of paper sitting next to me. And um, I started using this when I was a market maker back in the early 80s. And it's just a, it's a T with the buys on one side, the sells on, on, on the other side. And running down the middle is the running total of what my position is at that moment after every trade. So I can instantly see if I'm long or short. If it's a positive number, I'm long. If it has a minus in front of it, I'm short. But my buys are on one side, my sells are on the other side. And at the end of the day, I have my position. I start a new sheet. So it's, it's very easy. Uh, once again, people make it hard. I don't want to be a bookkeeper. I want to be a trader. I want to make money. But but let me but let me go to a meta level here. My philosophy is I only do what the market tells me to do. That's it. So when I trade, I'm very humble. I'm not trying to be right. I, I know that sounds crazy. I'm not trying to be right. I'm trying to do what the market tells me to do. So if it's a bull market, I want to buy. If it's a bear market, I want to sell. Let's not make this hard. But the biggest problem most traders have is they fight the market. Well, guess what? You're always going to lose. But they'll buy something and it'll start to go against them and they'll hang on and they'll hang on and they'll hang on and pretty soon they have a big loser. Really? The market told you to sell. Just do what the market tells you to do. Don't have any ego at all. Don't try to be right. Just make money. That's your job. Make money. So. So what happens then is that what I do with my trade trackers, I put the trade there, and then when the trade is completed, I copy and paste it onto tab two, and once a month I go through and analyze all my trades once a month to make sure that the techniques that I'm using, which are all proven techniques, are still making money. And so I use a very scientific, mathematical, rigorous approach, but I'm, I don't want to be a bookkeeper. Now, once again, let me go to the meta level. I realized that what I am is not a trader. I am a manager of trading techniques. That is to say, here's a series of techniques, and all I do is manage them. I'm really just an order taker for the techniques. If I think that I'm a trader, then I think I'm some big deal. But if I think I'm just an order taker for a system, it re makes me humble. Humbleness is how you make money. I had the fortune, I was hired by two of the greatest traders of all time to coach them. Michael Marcus who's one, and Marty Schwartz. Look them up. Marty Schwartz has the best documented track record of any trader in history, a thousand percent a year, seven straight years. Mike, they're both in the Market Wizards book. Uh, 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 Michael Marcus uh, turned 30,000 into 80 million. I mean, these are both incredible traders. I worked with both of them for 18 months, okay, coaching them. They're both better traders than I am. There's no question about it. But Tiger Woods has a coach. You know, every top athlete has a coach. Well, they, they're smart. They hired me as their coach. Are they, am I a better trader than them? No, not even close. But the point is both of them were very humble. If you passed them on the street, you'd never know because all they did was focus on making money. They didn't focus on their ego. They didn't focus on being right. They focused on making money and making money only, period. And if they were wrong, they never thought in terms of they were wrong. They just said, I got to get right. I got to get the right position on. I got the wrong position on now. I got to get out and get into the right position. That's humbleness. They did what the market told them to do, and that's all.